welcome back to Cooking with Anterita. So for now, come on right into my kitchen. Today, we're making one of my favorites, stuffed meatloaf with a cheesy twist in it. Hand it over to my dear, beautiful niece-in-law, Aisha. To begin with, we're gonna start with two pounds of ground lean beef. You could eat, use whatever you like, chicken, ground chicken, breast, veal, it's your preference. A pinch of salt, or two pinches of salt, two pinches of salt, onions, and that is a quarter yellow onion chopped it up fine. We're going to combine them all together along with two eggs. We'll mix them up together with your hands. It's okay. Aisha, wash your hands before cooking. We're going to mix it up together real well. And now we are ready for the bread crumbs. We're going to combine a half a cup of bread crumbs. And mix well. This is one of the most easiest meatloaf recipe you could ever find. And I know you guys are going to enjoy doing it. Because my niece and nephew, whenever they come over, that's what they always ask their auntie for. And I just enjoy cooking with them. As I know you will with your family. After we mix it up well, we're going to divide the mixture in a half. We're going to put half in a grease container. You could grease your container. You don't have to use a meatloaf um, container. You could use any pan. Just make sure the bottom is greased with a little bit of olive oil. We're going to make it in a square figure with your hands, of course. Make it in a square figure. And in, in the middle of it, we're going to make a canal with your, thing, with your hands, or we could use the back of a spoon. A deep canal right down the middle. After we make a canal right down the middle of the square figure, we're going to start with a layer of cheese. Depends on, you could use any type of cheese you like, ricotta, um, but we're using American sliced cheese. Next, we're going to put boiled eggs on top of the layer of cheese. Three boiled eggs, lengthwise. And then we're going to top it with cheese. At the ending of the recipe, if you, you all don't know how to boil an egg, the ending of the recipe, at uh, the ending of the segment, there will be a recipe up for you guys to, with the instruction on how to boil an egg. Boiling an egg is easy. All you do is put three boiled egg in a pot of water with a little bit of salt and boil for 30 minutes. After that, don't forget to pour cold water on top of the boiled eggs immediately after boiling so the skin would be easier to peel off. After you finish laying the layer of cheese on top of the boiled egg, use the rest of the mixture and top it on top of the layer of cheese and boiled egg, forming a better square. We're going to place the rest of the mixture on top of 
the layer of cheese and boiled egg, building it into a nice square. Make sure that all the edges of the ground beef, of the meatloaf is covered with ground beef. It doesn't have to look pretty, you just have to taste good. And this one, I can guarantee you, would taste delicious. And if you don't have a meatloaf pan, that's perfectly okay to use whatever you have. We're going to place that in the oven at 350 degrees. But before we do that, we're going to use the rest of tomato sauce. We're going to use tomato sauce to pour on top of it. And now, my friends, doesn't it look delicious already? It's ready to go in the oven. Remember to preheat the oven at 350 degrees. We're going to place it in the oven now. Place the meatloaf in the oven. Okay and cook for 45 minutes until the top is brown. Bye everybody, I hope Bye. you enjoyed this segment with Cooking with Aunt Rita. Hope to see you guys again soon.